Now then, guys, welcome to Strats Gaming. I'm Luke, and this is my journeyman save on Football Manager 2019. And you come back to a sea of green. Last time out, you saw us draw, drew, uh, drew, draw against uh, Porto and managed to beat Wolves 1-0. Prior to that, we played Burnley. We absolutely smashed Burnley 6-0 in the league. Nick back getting on the score sheet. Martial, Penne, they got an own goal. Longsdale and Arab scoring for us. We then played Southampton, a 3-2 game. It was a 3-2 thriller, to be honest with you. Sajenko scoring two early goals early on. They got two goals back in the 50-odd minutes. And then we managed to get the winner, uh, Van der Boosh uh, even, from left back, scoring in the 68th minute to make us win 3-2. We then beat Fenerbahce 2-0. I did a rotated team. Longsdale and King scored. I've just knocked my microphone. Apologies for that. Um, what else What else have we been doing? Uh, Norwich, we managed to beat them 4-0. Um, an own goal. So can be getting two goals. Penny also scoring for us as well. And then we've just beaten Colchester 6-1 in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Wherein Reese Nelson scoring two goals. Oli, Dave... And Garrell getting on the score sheet. So which puts us into the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, which is against Wolves. We also have drew, drawn AFC Wimbledon in the third round of the FA Cup. And then we've got Atletico Madrid in the Champions League knockout stages, the first round. So that's going to be a tough tie because Atletico Madrid are third in Spain at the minute. Yeah, third in Spain. Real Madrid are top, Barcelona are second. Other than that, we'll have a quick look at the league table, see how we're getting on. We are sitting in third place as things stand. Liverpool are still dominant at the minute, but we are slowly clawing it back. We're only six points behind Liverpool as, as things stand. They have lost a game now against Man City. They've drawn a couple of games against Tottenham and Chelsea. So yeah, they are losing points. They're not going to go undefeated as of what I thought they were. We just need to keep going, keep winning the games that we're winning, just so we can at least stay in the top four. It would be nice if we managed to somehow ret retain the Premier League. I don't know how we're going to do it. We have to, we're have we going to have to beat all the top five, I think, just to try and uh, get some momentum going. We can't lose against Liverpool next time we play them. So it's going to be some big games coming up. But we've got Leicester today, and then we have got Manchester United. I believe they're the two games we are playing, Leicester and Manchester United. The Leicester game... We know about Leicester. We, we were there for a couple of years. We need to beat them. And then we need to go and beat Manchester United to hopefully then go ahead of them. The team that I'm using against Leicester City is this one. We've got Lars in goal. I need to change his sweeper keeper on defend. Nick back, Arab, Savis and Lovrak as the defences. Silva and Binch in midfield. Paul King on the right-hand side. Penne and Dave as the attacking midfielders with Sajenko up top. All in all, very, very good team. Paul King is putting in a performance of his life this season. He's, what, 25 years of age, got 61 caps for Scotland. 14 games, 4 goals, 3 assists, 2 player of the matches. So far, it is the best season he's had for Arsenal. I know he's played quite a few games. I think, which season was it? That season there, he played 32 games and only scored 4 goals. So I think he's... He's slowly coming into his prime. Reese Nelson's on the bench from them two goals he scored in the FA Cup quarterfinal against Colchester. I thought, well, we'll put him on the bench just to see how he does. We're not getting rid of him because he's been at Arsenal forever. And uh, he's one of the homegrown players at the club kind of thing that you need. So we'll get in through this uh, team talk. And then we'll get into the game. And fingers crossed, we'll score a nice early goal. Calm things down straight off the bat. And then just go on and win. Because we need to. Where are Leicester? Eighth. I predicted Leicester to actually do better than what they are doing at the minute. They have sacked the manager. Um, Brendan Rodgers did get sacked because they're underperforming. Especially with the amount of money that they've brought in over the past couple of seasons. Just from ourselves buying players. We must have given Leicester... We're in here. Oh, so can be come clo comes close. Uh, we must have given them up to near enough two and a half million pounds. No, £250 million pound even. On the players that we've bought from with Dave, Nick Back and Arab. Them three players are like, well, we've taken their best players off them, but we've given them a lot of money. So you'd think Leicester can reinvest in the money they've got coming from Arsenal at least. Penne shoots, Pip's in goal. That's the guy that got away. I'd love to sign Pip, but 
we've got Lars, it's fine. And we've got Aero Baron, we don't need him. Pixton's in, shoots, pip, saves. He is a good goalkeeper. Another highlight, another throw in. I'm going to sip some tea while this one goes in. Paul King with a goal. Do you like that? I'll sip some tea while this one goes in. I was meant to say why the highlight ends. No, why the goal comes in. And Penny crosses it, well, passes it back to Pixton. Plays it to Paul King and picks it up. One touch, two touch. Shoots, bottom corner. Nothing Pip can do about that in goal. And, yeah, they've... We're 1-0 up. It's an early goal that we wanted. We have had literally all the possession, all the shots, as usual. This is the Arsenal team that I've created. Most of my teams are like this that I managed to create. So, Jenko passes it back to Dave. Penne goes close. He does get the goal. Comes off the crossbar. Comes straight back to him, though, and he can just tap it in. 2-0 to Arsenal. Manchester City with a throw-in. Can they build something for us? I don't think they do. Big ball at the top. Nick back. Plays it to King. What a pass that was to King. What a goal that was. Nick back with the pass to King. He just gets here. Turns around. Big ball forward. I mean, this this was meant for King. He knew what he was doing. King picks the ball up. Crosses it in. So can be there. Not so can be. So Jenko even. So can be not on the bench. So Jenko scores. And that's just lovely stuff. 3-0 on the 30 minute mark. So half time is here. I need to start thinking about conditioning. They are players that are struggling. Just I might take Nick back off because he's seventy seven percent as it is. I don't want him to get injured. I need him for the Manchester United net game. So I'm going to bring Benjamin on this uh, this second half straight out from the back just to just to rest Nick back. Oh, we've got a goal kick. Lars Lars to a rab to Penne. He plays a poor pass to um, Penny in the middle. And Tanner scores. Is he offside, though? It's nice to see Ben Tanner playing for him. He doesn't get it. The fact that Ben Tanner got golden boot while we were at Leicester two years in a row. We did a lot of good stuff at Leicester when we were there. It's just a very nearly thing. It could have been a lot better than it was. What was it? An FA Cup final. We could have won the FA Cup. There's a... There was a Europa League final there, which if we won that, it would have been sensational. Um, we've got players in... Oh, I almost scored again. Players scoring a load of goals. Tanner getting, what was it, golden boot for the um, two seasons running. He hasn't really lived up to them heights, in that, especially in that third season. Wasn't looking that great for us. But that, Leicester, that stint at Leicester really, I think, is... Kind of put us on the map a little bit. We should have done better, really, with what we had. But uh, it, it'd be all right. So what am I going to do with these changes? Ashley Waring is probably going to come on that left-hand side. I am bringing him out on the wings just because I want to get him on the pitch. I was going to bring on Reese Nelson, but we'll save that for later on. Just have a look at anyone else's conditioning. I think Paul King may come off at some point, but we'll... Uh, We'll just play through. We'll give it another 10 minutes or so and I'll make my third substitution. Pip with a free kick. Leicester City are on the attack. Pixton. Come on. Lucas. De Jong. Diawari. Brewster scores for Leicester City. Ryan Brewster. Oh, we know him all so well. Again, it came very, very cheap to Leicester. I think we bought him for 2 million quid and he's definitely putting in his worth for it and we just need to just concentrate a little bit now it's at that 70 minute mark there's 20 minutes to go there's only two goals in it i'm probably going to take off binge and bring on so can be i think that's what i'm going to do just to show up the midfield a little bit put a, some fresh legs in midfield right so jenko with the free kick high and wide unfortunately could have really probably crossed that into the box instead of going for the shot Right, Paul King makes a lovely tackle there. I'm well, not Paul King. So, yeah, it was Paul King, but Brewster's in. And Brewster almost scores his second goal of the game. Luckily, he does not. There's four minutes to go of added time. We should be able to hold on, and I think we will. Time is sticking away. We're going to win this one 3-1. Quite comfortable first half performance. Second half wasn't too great, but I think we've just sat back and... Just kind of enjoyed it a little bit. Yeah, we've conceded the goal. But other than that, we've done well. 31 shots, 15 on target. That's ridiculous. We sh 
Pip must have had a very good rating. Well done, lads. Good win. We now have Manchester United to play. We've got eight days to go, so we'll jump straight to the Manchester United game. Right, so here we are then, the Manchester United game. It's a game we need to win. If we win, we jump up into four, uh, second place, which is nice. Uh, just putting on that pressure to Liverpool a little bit, even though they have just beat Norwich 6-2 in their game. So they're obviously still high up in the league. So a couple of changes made. I thought, well, only one on the pitch. Uh, Van, der, Van der Bosch is starting because he said he wants to play more football. I have no reason why not to play him. He's a good player. He's 24 years of old. Four-star potential. Well, four-star ability. He's good enough to go in there. Is he just as good as Lovarak? Probably Lovarak is going to be the better player, but I don't mind swapping them two around. The rest, obviously, Large, uh, Lars, Nick Back, Arab. Oh, sorry, Letty starting as well because Savis has got a bit of a knock. Uh, Pixton, Binch, King, Penne, Dave on the left-hand side with Sajenko up top. I'm thinking maybe bringing Diaz on the bench just to get some experience, just to watch the game, just for a backup centre back if we do get injured if we do get an injury at centre back instead of kind of um risking surveys really there. So let's just get into this game. We can potentially I'm not gonna say about qualifying for the Champions League yet. Um we are obviously two points behind Manchester United and then I think we've got Chelsea or someone behind us in the league. We'll have a look in a second. It will show us no Man City behind us in the league by two points as well. So we this is a must-win game, really, for us. Like I said, at the beginning of the season, we lost against these teams. I think we drew against Manchester United, I believe. But we need to do the, the top five. We need to get some results on now. We really do. Right, first highlight is going towards us. Paul King's there with a shot, and it's saved. And we've seen him score plenty of them. Now we've got another highlight, another throw in. Dave crosses it in. Back to Paul King. So Jenko's there, though. Gets the goal. It is going to go to VAR. Probably because Paul King may have been offside. He awards the goal. I don't know what he was looking at. But Sajenko with his eighth goal of the season now. Dave crosses it in. Paul King. Uh, he doesn't get there actually. It's the Manchester United player kind of fouls Paul King I think. And then ends up going to Sajenko. And he, he puts the ball in the back of the net. Which is lovely. Makes us 1-0. Puts us... Above Manchester United in the league into second place. Again, just putting that pressure on Liverpool a little bit. King running down that wing. Dave scores. And I'd like to think that Sajenko left that. Because Dave was running in and just shouted, do not touch that ball. I'm scoring. Because it's, it was kind of on a plate for Sajenko. A cross comes in and he's there. And he just, yeah, he just left it. Dave must have shouted that to say, yeah, leave that. That's going to be mine. And it's his sixth goal of the season as well. Right, Manchester United now on the attack. I've got to be wary of Manchester United. They are a good team. Chong is a very good player. I've had him right at the beginning from a Sunderland save. He was really good. And he's done quite well for Manchester United so far in this save form. They've also got the likes of Paul Pogba still in their team. Because he is an ageing Paul Pogba now. But he's still a vital player for them. Right, free kick to us. Penne to Dave. Crosses it in. Paul King crosses it back into Jenko's there with his second goal. It's an own goal. How is that an own goal? What is gone on there? Right, Binch out to Penne. Dave putting in some wonderful crosses here. And King crosses it in. And. Okay, yeah, we'll. I think that was going in anyway. But we'll take it. It's 3 0 just before half time. We couldn't be any more dominant if we tried. I'm happy with that, lads. Keep it going. Again, I'm just going to send them out. We have got a game against Bournemouth like two days after this one. So I am going to have to think about rotating for the Bournemouth game. Obviously, you guys aren't going to see that game. Um, but yeah, I've got to think about rotating the team. Conditioning-wise, isn't going to be great. Probably defenders are going to be tired. So if we're dominant still... In the 60, 70th minute, I will be making changes just due to fitness and try and keep, in, try and keep people fit. Uh, Penne tries to get it out, and I think I might make a change now, thinking about it. I'm going to take Penne off. Give Longsdale a run out. Again, look at that. Long, Steve Longsdale, his rating's gone down massively. We did get him, obviously, from a free, remember, from Chelsea. He is a good player, but he's slowly 
declining a little bit. We're, we're not playing him as much as we probably should be. That's that's probably the reason why. Stjenko's also picked up a bit of a knock, so that's going to be a force change there. Ashley Waring's going to come on. I think he may be trying to get Reese Nelson on the pitch and take off Paul King, just to give Paul King a little bit of a rest. He is having a very good game, though. That's the problem. Actually, no, Pixton's going to be the one that's going to come off. Or Nick back. I don't know which one. Probably Pixton. We've got 10 minutes to go. I'm going to bring on So Can Be in midfield. Again, just getting him game time. He's a good player. That So Can Be is. And the best thing about it, he can play in both of them roles, so it's a good cover for him. We don't have much other midfielders outside of them three, maybe. We've got Ollie, who's not obviously registered for the Premier League team, but he can play the cup games and stuff. But we do win this game. It's 3-0. We're happy with that. Passionately say, a very nice victory. Well done. And when are we going to be back next? Obviously, I don't think I can do the... Let's have a look at the scheduling and see what we've got coming up. I think he may be Man City and we'll show you the second leg of the Carabao Cup uh, knockout. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll do Bournemouth. I'll play Wimbledon, Wolves and Chelsea offline. Come back for the Man City game and the Wolves game. I feel like that Wolves game will be nice. That would be us to see if we can get into a final. I think hopefully we can. I, I want to I want to win every cup if possible. Um, so yeah, so it would be would be nice to see. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next episode. Have a lovely day wherever you are, whatever time it is you're watching this. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.